Hey guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Today in this quick tip video, I just want to share with you guys a little quick tip in Cinema 4D on how to subdivide polygons and maybe you're new to Cinema 4D or perhaps you're new to 3D. I'm going to show you why this can be kind of helpful for you if you're planning on bringing your model into After Effects to use it as an effect, maybe in trap code form or plexes. And knowing how to subdivide within Cinema 4D is going to be very handy for you in that sense. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own online website store portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off, head over to squarespace.com and use the promo code DOJO1 at checkout. So here I am in Cinema 4D, and let's say that I had an object in my scene here. So I'm going to create a quick object, and this model can be pretty much anything. It could be a model you downloaded on the internet, or maybe you got it from someone or someplace. And let's say that you wanted to import this into After Effects and, you know, render it with trap code form or plexus here and create kind of a particle effect using our model here. So to do this, you would usually have to go to File, Export, and Export as a Wavefront OBJ file. And, you know, we'll just call this one our 3D model. Hit Save. And I'm going to show you why you may run into some issues if you just simply do this process here. So I'm going to go back into After Effects here. And here in After Effects, I just have Trap Code Form, you know, at its base form here. And I'm going to go and go ahead and import our 3D model that we just exported from Cinema 4D. And I'm going to select the 3D model.obj file and we'll hit open. And let's go ahead and bring that into our composition. You know, we'll just turn it off and we'll go to form and then we'll go into the base form and tell form to use an OBJ model. And then we'll go into the OBJ settings and tell it what OBJ model to use. We'll select our 3D model.obj. And as you can see, form is actually taking the form of our 3D OBJ, but you can't really see it here. So let me just go ahead and zoom right in. And you can see that we do have points and this is what form is giving us, it's giving us, you know, a few points to work with here, but it doesn't really accurately portray what we have. Uh, with these few points here, you're not really going to be able to tell what this object is and it doesn't really define what your 3D model kind of looks like here. And that's because a lot of effects and plugins like Trap Cut Form and Plexus, um, they don't use the actual surface of the polygons. It uses the vertex points here. So as you can see, we don't have enough points here. And if you want to increase the particle count, you can't really do that because it's grayed out. And this is how most effects behave and then After Effects. And this kind of makes sense. It's using the vertex points of the model of the polygons to generate these kind of points here. So if you go back to Cinema 4D here, you can see that Trap Cut Form isn't rendering the surface of our polygons here. It isn't rendering the surface and adding points and you know particles to the surface. It's actually creating points at these intersection points here, the vertex points here or vertices points. So how do we solve this? Well basically what we need to do is we need to add more vertices or more points within you know our model here. Now this is actually very easy to do in my particular case because we still have a parametric object which means that this is all calculated, all the vertices and points and geometry is all calculated mathematically with by Cinema 4D here so we can easily just go ahead and increase the segments here. And as you can see when we increase the number of segments we get more polygons or more vertices points to work with but most of the time your models aren't going to be in this nice convenient parametric state here. Usually your model is going to be in polygon form or editable form which means that you can manipulate the individual polygons here. So let's go ahead and reset this back down to 1. And let's say that this was an actual editable object. I'm going to hit C to convert this parametric object to a editable object here. Or you can hit this button right here. So right now we no longer have a parametric shape or object. We can't add more segments easily. And this is how your model probably looks like uh, when you receive it or download it from the internet here. So to subdivide this thing, similar to how we did it uh, with the parametric object, simply select your object here or your polygon and go to mesh, command, and then go to subdivide. And what that does is it kind of splits up all your polygons. We have more polygons to work with. And the shortcut for that is U S and that's going to subdivide and kind of split things up into more polygons. So when you're modeling, this can be very helpful to, if you want more polygons to work with. Obviously, if you already know how to model in Cinema 4D, you probably already know the basic function subdivide and this is nothing new. But if you're kind of new to After Effects, this can be kind of helpful for you if you're really stuck on what to do with an OBJ file. 
Another quick tip is if you select your polygon mode tool here, so we can select our individual polygons, and you know we can hold down shift to select multiple polygons, you can actually subdivide individual polygons. You don't have to actually subdivide your whole entire object, and this can be very important if you have a very complex object. And sometimes you don't need to subdivide your whole model, you just need to subdivide certain parts of it that don't have a lot of points to work with. So I'm gonna select these three polygons here, and then I'm gonna hit U and S, and as you can see, it does kind of subdivide these in these parts right here to make these subdivisions possible. But as you can see, it's really just subdividing these areas here that you want. And the rest is just to compensate for these subdivisions here. But that's just a quick tip on how to subdivide. I'm going to undo this and just subdivide this whole thing here. So hit Control Command A and then hit U and S and U and S. And we'll go ahead and export this file. So we'll go to File Export and wait for an OBJ again. And I don't want to rename it the same name as our previous OBJ that we import into After Effects. I don't want to override this name here because After Effects will kind of cache it and I just find it easier just to rename it something else like subdivide in. So you don't run into any cache issues or anything because sometimes form has a problem with updating and I'm not sure that's a problem with form or just After Effects caching or something like that. So I'm going to call it 3D model subdivided. Hit save. Hit OK. Here in After Effects, I'm going to go into my project media panel and import that subdivided OBJ. Bring that in here. And by the way, if you're having issues importing OBJ files in After Effects, I don't believe After Effects can actually import OBJ files natively. You're going to need to have a plugin like Form or Plexus. I know Plexus has their own OBJ importer and also Element 3D. You need to have these plugins in order to import OBJ files. If you can't import OBJ files and use them, it's probably because you don't have a proper plugin installed that kind of enables this feature, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and shy this, go to Form. Let's tell Form to use our new OBJ model here, our OBJ 3D model subdivided OBJ file. And right off the bat, you can see that we actually have more points to work with. And that is because we subdivided our polygon to more points. And so now we have more points to work with in After Effects. And this can be pretty handy. And of course, you can go in and you know, subdivide it even more and more. But this should give you the basic idea on how to subdivide polygons within Cinema 4D. It's a very simple command, very basic command if you're familiar with Cinema 4D modeling tools and features. But for those of you who don't really know uh, Cinema 4D that well, this is a pretty cool thing to know if you're planning to bring your model into After Effects here. So really quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and set this up with Plexus just to see what it kind of looks like. I'll choose an OBJ object. And I'll go into the Import OBJ and select our OBJ here. And that creates points for us. So we'll go into the points renderer and change the point size to maybe like, maybe it's a 0.7. And then we'll go to the render and add a lines renderer. And we'll change the, uh, let's see here, the thickness to maybe like 0.5. And maybe change the maximum distance down a little bit. And as you can see, we can fully see what our object looks like and we have kind of control over how many points we have. Also another quick tip in trap code form, let's say that your model had too many points here. Let's say we subdivide it a little bit too much and we have way too many points or maybe your model has too many points as well. You actually have an option here called skip vertex which allows you to kind of remove some of these points here. So if I increase the skip vertex amount, you can see that it reduces the number of points. And so this is a pretty handy way of kind of maybe speeding up your render time to maybe reducing the amount of points that you have and so that things are not just unmanageable. So that's pretty much it guys. Before we go, I want to go ahead and give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for making today's video possible. Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional online website, store, or portfolio. They have over 20 highly customizable and professionally designed templates. With their click and drag interface, adding content is a breeze, and starting at just $8 a month you can get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. You can start your free trial of Squarespace by going to squarespace.com. And when you do decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use promo code DOJO1 to get 10% off the life of your order and support the dojo. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. So that's pretty much it guys for this quick tip video. This is how you subdivide within Cinema 4D. A very basic feature, but it can be very handy for you if you're planning on bringing it into trap code form or plexus. And I've been getting a lot of questions about it, so that's pretty much it guys. Once again, my name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time.